Uh, welcome back to the shop. Today we're gonna get started on some cutting boards. Um, I got a couple people who want them for gifts for friends and family. So um, I've got a piece of hard maple here that we're starting with. Um, I put a nice smooth edge on one of the sides, but it's got a little bit of a wobble to it. Um, so we're gonna plane that out. This is the first time I'm trying this. Um, but basically I had an old shelf board. It's nicely flat. Um, has this kind of melamine surface on it. Probably should have put some paste wax on it, but oh well. And we've got the hot glue gun here. What we've done is I've shimmed it so that it won't move anymore. We're just going to go ahead and get some hot glue, get it stuck down here, and send it through the planer. A few moments later. So I'll get set up and we'll send that through, see if it works. Okay, we're all set up with the planer. Let's send this through and see how it goes. Okay, I do have some snipe from my planer. Oops. But we do have a flat board on both sides. So the snipe I'll just need to clean up, you know, or cut it off later. That's why it's a little bit long. This stuff works great for starting fires. So I will sweep that up later. I wanted to show you this here just to add on to the jigs I've made today. So, so far we've made a jointer jig, which is leaning against the plywood over there still. Worked out well. We put a nice edge on this board. It's not this edge, it's actually this one over here. Get a nice straight shot of that, but really smooth edge off the saw with that jointer jig. Very happy with that. And then I needed a jig for flattening some boards in my planer. As you can see, we made a mess. Uh, so I built this guy here. At first, it just had the one cleat on the back, you know, and I'm just shimming them up to make them level, not wobbly, and away they go through, flatten one side. So we did that on that maple, which is now flat. Take it off the jig, flip it over, flatten the other side. I just did one side of that board as well. Um, and it worked really well. You can see there's one little spot on the top I haven't quite planed yet, but um, you know, some sanding will take care of that or I'll run it through again, I haven't decided. And that was the reason for adding the second cleat was that board over there was taller. Uh, the first board I did hot glue gun down to this to keep it stable. It was a trick I saw online. Um, I'll show you some footage of that, however, the hot glue gun broke, so the second one I didn't even hot glue gun down, still seemed to work just fine. So, um, you know, it pulls it through a little bit, but keeps it level, um, I think, because that board's long enough. So, again, just wanted to show you this couple of simple shop jigs to help life, help things come along a little easier and help make a big mess of sawdust that we'll have to clean up. Woohoo. And, yeah. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you like this video, please subscribe and share. Um, and comment below uh, what jigs have you made in your shop. Um, then we'll take a look because I have some more I think I'd like to build and some other lumber to do it with. So trying to really utilize the saw as best we can um, just because I don't have other, other big tools. So um, yeah, thanks for watching.